How's it going, everybody? Bob here, playing a horror game called Ravenous. Well, I see a monster hand and a door, so <laughs> we're going home. Time to jump right in. I wonder Five, what kind of creature. Four, huh? Three, two, one. Happy birthday. Let's play hide and seek. Hide and seek. Whoa. Are those graphics? It looks real. Very cool. What the hell? Well, this is Unreal Engine 5. It has to be. That is very beautiful looking. Oh, even for a student project. Nice looking. Why, why was only the train in color, though? Little red train. What is that? A shed? <gasps> we found something. I'm going in. I like that little train. <laughs> It's like black and white, just this little red plastic train. You don't go in there. Don't do it. Don't you do it. <gasps> the creature's gonna get you. Don't go in there. Bad kid. <laughs> Dumbass. Now, why are kids so stupid? Look at what you're... Now you gotta deal with being stuck in some kind of underground bunker. Let me guess. There's... What? This looks more like a beautiful house than it does a bunker. Okay. Sure. Am I just in here? Wow. What a beautiful looking game, I gotta say. Okay, what am I doing here? Welcome home. What is this place? I shouldn't have come here. No, I don't think I should have come here. What does this say? Mysterious disappearance of children. Disturbing testimonies. The small, quiet community of Linsford. Was this in England? Has been shaken by a series of mysterious and worrying disappearances of children. What makes this case even more sinister is the growing number of reports from residents who claim to have seen a strange figure prowling the streets of the town, especially at night. A shadowy, almost elusive figure who seems to be watching children playing in the parks, or returning home from school. The descriptions vary, but one element remains cons constant, the sense of unease and fear felt by those who have come across this mysterious figure. Some speak of a sinister presence, others of a dangerous psychopath. The local authorities are doing everything they can to... Bleep. Let me guess. It's a beast, and it's kidnapping children! So I guess I've been kidnapped? That's no good. Eh, play with more stuff over here? I always like these stupid <laughs> drinking birds. Okay, well, clearly I've been taken. Cigarettes, boo. Don't smoke. Here's that train I was following. It's on the wall here. Handle seems to be missing. Handle? But I want that key in there. Can I open this? Oh, need, need that key. Where's the handle for that? Handle? Anywhere? Handle? What is that? Like a green thing. Can I crouch? No? Can I open this? I feel like I'm really tiny. <laughs> What's in here? I need a handle, please. Um, I like that I can open everything, but I'm also not really seeing a handle anywhere. Yeah, get out the way. Where is this handle? It's gotta be like in here somewhere. Hello? No? Hmm. Well, they wouldn't let me just dick around with this for no reason. There's got to be something in here. Something? Anything? No? I can't even see in this drawer. Okay, so if I can open drawers, can I open other drawers too? What about this one? There we go. Gimme. Is that a letter? You're not gonna let me read the letter. 
Okay, whatever. Open sesame. Give me key. Yeah, I got key. Alright. Oh, I don't like how small I feel. <laughs> God damn it. What the? What the hell was that? That was weird. This place seems like it's like abandoned right after a birthday party or something. What about this? Open sesame? Nothing. Cool pipe, dude. Um. It's really dark in here, I gotta say. Okay, I can sprint at least, but I. Holy shit, this place is huge! What? Lucy's room. Okay. Weez's room. Okay. Nursery. Everything's locked. I like how immersive this is, though. I like when I can... Wait a minute. What? Crazy lady? Or is somebody trying to kill a whole family? Lies. Oh, that's creepy. I just noticed that. There's doll parts everywhere. What does this say? A total of almost 46 missing children were there. Hey! Holy shit! Where the fuck are the police? What are you guys doing? Those unexplained disappearances seem to only target children from 1 to 10 years. Meeting with the police. There are many more missing children. Lastly, we can mention several victims. Susie Brown, Noah Carson, Gordy? Gordy Cantor, Abby Blum, and many more. I haven't heard Gordy as a name in a long time. Kind of old-timey, right? Fear starts to something. And there's something supernatural. Said the mother of Evelyn, who has been missing. Never leave your children alone. Were the only words her dad was able to say. That's kind of sad. Okay. I swear I heard something. Am I going to be chased? Is there a monster in here somewhere? Whoa! That's fucking cool. It's like Silent Hill. Silent Hill 4. The room. That's pretty dope. Alright. What? Why do I keep hearing things? Somebody's talking to me. Living room. What is this? Another... There's a lot of lore in this house. Charles White, a family man, was found hanged dead in his home a year after family tragedy. The father family described his sudden death as heartbreaking, as tributes were paid to him. His wife said that the loss of Charles, the age of 43, was further heartbreak after their child had been missing for over a year. That makes more sense. Alright. He's believed to be dead. At this point, there's no new information to help search for her body. According to the testimony of Charles' son, he had become very distant and silent father ever since the tragic event. Well, yeah, wouldn't any dad be, like, thoroughly depressed if their family... Journal, what's it doing here? Mm hmm. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing in this place, but it's fucking dark as balls. What is over there? That is something on the wall. I wish it wasn't so dark in here, but at the same time... What is this? Must find the code. How? Where exactly would there be a code? I've already kind of checked everything, haven't I? Looks like I can get past here. No. Not gonna happen. I guess I just gotta keep clicking on stuff. Um, code. Hey! Is anyone here? Please! I beg you! I need help! Damn. These voice actors are pretty good, and that's it's, actually creepy. It's me, your little sister. I've been trapped here for two years. What? There's something in the basement. A creature that traps and eats children. Eats them? Have to help. I don't know what's up to, but you need to find a way to open my door. Please, hurry up. I don't want to die. I don't want to die either, but... <gasps> Here we go. Open sesame. Oh, fuck this one. Oh, <laughs> fuck no. this, dude. This place sucks balls. Okay, well, there's some more train. What? I hate it. Do all the dolls stare at you forever? Yes, they do. Why? Fuck you, doll. Are they like souls trapped in them or something? What is this?
place for Lewis. What the fuck? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm gonna stick all these babies in here. Maybe... Chuck his head, too. Place for Lewis. Oh, they have names on them. Where's Lewis? Easy. Evelyn. Hazel. Huh? Where's Lewis? Doozy. Where? I'm missing one. Where is it? I need Lewis. Where are you? Louise. Lewis. It's Gordy. Where is it? For you. Noah. Evelyn. What does it say? I'm so sorry. I never wanted you to disappear. I didn't think a birthday could end like this. Now mom cries all the time and dad doesn't talk. My fault, right? If only I paid more attention. Maybe you'd still be here with us. I don't understand why you disappeared. Mom's getting very angry with me and I'm trying to understand why. I might even deserve to disappear more than you. I feel bad. For my little sister, I miss you so much. Louis. This is really sad. <laughs> this, is, this is making me depressed, dude. God damn it. Well, if you're gonna make a horror game, I guess you might as well either make it very scary or very depressing. Lewis? Oscar. Damn it. Where are you? Where the f Where is she? There should be one of these damn dolls called Lewis, but I don't see it anywhere. You hidden? Where are you hiding? Oh, here? No? What the? Something in there. Where are you, you son of a bitch? Abby? Come on! Where the fuck is he? What? Hmm. I'm just gonna put every single one in there until one of them works. No. Okay. Oh wait. There we go. This is really depressing. The baby seems to be hiding something in its head. Huh? What do you mean? Um. Okay. Hey, Key to Lewis's room. Is that is that Louise? It's Louise. Why do I keep calling Lewis? <laughs> That's a guy's name. Clearly, this is a little girl. This is this is quite a wacky experience. I have to say, it's kind of making me feel depressed. <gasps> Monster! Finally, I saw you. You son of a bitch. Are you over here? Holy shit! It's so dark. Even if he was over there, I wouldn't be able to tell. Girl, I'm here to help. What? what do you mean? I got key. Is this a key for something else? Um, this room? This thing? Creepy, crazy room? What the? What is this for? I could have swore it was for this. Let me in. Come in. Let me in. I'm here to save you. Oh, it's Lucy's room. Louise's room. Open sesame. Come on. Okay. Hey, I'm here, behind the door. I don't know where it's hiding. It could be anywhere, and soon I might not be able to communicate with you. Don't you say need that. To keep dreading the monster's depth. There might be something crucial in this room you're in. Be cautious. I heard it's moving in the corridor. I saw it. So, I really don't care that much. Fuck that monster. He's a piece of shit. Another weird puzzle? Okay, we got a picture. Okay, I need to put pictures in order of something. Lucy's story. Alright, what is this? Give me that. Give me the picture. 
<laughs> you son of a bitch. Let go of it. What the? How come we? Oh. There you go. Gimme. Picture. Mm, that's probably by the end. It just gets more and more depressing. God damn it. Hey, here's another one. Move. Oh, I see the monster. Playing. Monster. Olin tree. And kidnapped. Where's the next picture? This fucking house is creepy as balls. I feel really bad for these kids. They're being killed by some kind of creepy ass monster. God damn it, what does this say? My dearest, I'm gonna assume it's mom or dad. Every minute without you is difficult. I'd give anything to have you back. They hear the sound of your voice again, but you're gone. I don't know who kidnapped you. I don't even know why, but I promise you one thing. I will find him. I'll hunt that bastard down to the ends of the earth if I have to. No one can do this to you and get away with it. And there is Louise. Every time I look at him, I can't help but feel this dull anger. Why do I have to watch- Oh, it is Louis. Why do I have to watch him grow up when you're not around? You were my comfort. I know you wouldn't like it, but sometimes my anger boils over, and it's him who pays the price. I'd give anything to take it back, prevent it from happening. Love you, my little girl, Mom. What, so the mom became abusive now, too, to the son? Just because your daughter went missing? What a terrible, terrible person. You still got one kid left. You should be treating them like gold so they don't lose them. God damn it. This whole story is making me sad. <laughs> missing kids, abusive parents, monster that wants to eat them. What is this? Oh, shit balls. Okay. Talk to Lucy before I leave. 1988. That was a really easy puzzle to solve, actually. Lucy. Louis, listen. I remember now. What? I don't know what the monster is planning. He wants to eat us. I overheard it taking my music box and blasting some keys inside it. You need keys. to search the house, find the music box, and help me escape from here. I need to find a music oh, box. It's here. I have to turn off my light and stop talking, or it will kill me, or what? Throw me out the door. What? I need you. Hi, kid. Don't leave me. Find my key. I won't leave you. Just hide. Turn off the light. Okay, good. Hide, kid. Don't get eaten. Monster, why are you abusing these poor kids? You're such an asshole. Fuck you, dude. You're a prick. You know that? I hate this thing. <laughs> He's a fucking. This. This is the first game where I actually hate this monster. Fuck you, eating kids, man. You're an asshole. Uh, it's 1988. Easy. This game's got some really beautiful graphics, so I have to say. I love fucking Unreal Engine. It's so cool. It's so good. What the hell is this room now? You can't escape. Watch me. Bitch, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. You can't... You got to feed me. The I've doll looks like my father. Steel. What the hell? For a perfect party without your family? Huh? I don't get it. I just see two sad faces. Okay. I don't, what am I supposed to do with this stupid cake? Um. What do we got going on in here? Anything? Got a vase? Anything up here? No? What the hell? There's a phone in here. It seems to be locked. I gotta find a key. Okay? She disappeared because of you. Goddamn abusive mom. Fuck you, dude. I'm getting a bad feeling this is like, there is no monster. This is like, an, like this is what the kid sees. This is actually what the mom turned into a monster. Maybe. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, you know, bitballing here. No. I need a key. There's a phone in there. 
gotta be something. One of these drawers. Right? Right? Or maybe not? I. I don't fucking know. Um. Lock. Okay. Need to unset. <laughs> oh, there's the key. Alright, I know where your headset is. It's over here. Open sesame. Give me the. Give me that. Bomb bomb bowl. What? I have no idea. What do you mean? Dial numbers now? What? I don't think I saw any numbers anywhere yet. Uh-oh. I'm being brain teased. Anything in this little house? 11. Oh, there it is. That was easy. 116000. Okay. Gotcha. Um, Eleven. Sixty and then zero zero. Hello? Irresponsible. <laughs> what? She suffered because of you. Your mother is upset. So much suffering. Maybe I am right. Maybe this is just abusive. Yeah, this is just abusive parents because the. Coming to get you, you son of a bitch! Fuck you, dude. Dude, fuck you. I'm gonna beat your ass, I swear to God. Now what? Okay, what? Now where am I supposed to go? Do not know. If I go back out here. Uh oh. Now I'm locked in here. Huh? Do I have to do something with this? What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, wait. I need another doll head to put on there. Doll head, doll head. Where is there another note? Charles, I don't know how to start, but now that you're gone, I feel alone. I often wonder if there's anything I could have done to stop you from leaving. Every day is a struggle for me. Every day I have to bear the weight of the house, of responsibilities, the loss of my poor little girl, and Lewis. God knows I can't stand him anymore. I, I'm pretty sure I nailed this. This is just an abusive mom who's become a monster. Poor kids, man. I can't stand this child. I can't stand his stupidity. He doesn't understand anything. It doesn't succeed at anything. I know it's wrong, but sometimes I wonder why it's my little girl who disappeared and not him. What? Besides, he always looked at me strangely when I'm drinking, as if he had the slightest idea of what I'm going through. There's no one to help me. I love you and I miss you, Annabelle. Annabelle, you're a sack of shit and I hate you. Fucking French drunk asshole abusing your damn kid. Give me. I need the head. Just the head. Thank you. Head on cake. Um, yo. What? Not the right head? Oh, wait. Another doll? Oh, I just need lots of these doll heads. Okay. Sure. Need one more. Where's the. What's up, phone? Happy birthday, Lucy. A missing little girl. What? There's no way out. Your what? sister is gone. <laughs> That's depressing. What the fuck? You phoned me just to say that? Dick. She disappeared because of me. I ruined my family. I must bring her back home. Oh, you can certainly try, my friend. Oh, here we go. Gimme. Here we go. Puzzle solved. Let me into the monster room. You are trapped here forever. No, I'm not, dude. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. You'll see. I'll defeat my abusive mother. Fuck her. Man, it's dark over here. 
What the? The music box! I must find the key! Finally! Okay. Seems to be something missing. There like a, a wind up wind up thing. Yep. Okay, gotcha. I need the thing to make it play the music. What the hell was that? Oh, another no holy shit! <laughs> I feel so alone these days. As if no one understands me. As if no one really loves me. Mom has become so cold, so distant. She yells at me all the time. She's become so mean. She's never happy. It scares me because the last time she hit me so hard, I had a big lump on my forehead for days. And all because I mentioned Lucy's music box. As if she was angry about it. As if she wanted to erase the memory of my sister completely. And yesterday, the music box disappeared. I hope she didn't take it. Anyway, tonight, I'm gonna go and play with my friends in the forest. I really need to get some fresh air and get away from it all. It's good to be out in nature. Always. Away from all the shouting and crying. I'm really looking forward to it, Lewis. This poor kid, dude. What the fuck? Brutal. Poor Lewis, dude. I feel bad for him. What the? Oh, I'm on the other side of this thing now. Cool. Yeah, I need wind-up thing. Thinger. He's gone. Who's gone? Oh, the dad left, right. Another no Annabelle. It's hard to put into words the happiness I feel every day as I watch our children grow and develop. They are my reason for living, my source of joy and inspiration. The closeness between Lucy and Lewis is something precious, and I'm very happy to experience it as a father. I know you've been through difficult times since Lewis was born, and I don't blame you. But for the sake of the family, you can't go on behaving like this with our little boy. I want to find this family united, full of life and happiness. Lewis will be six years old soon, and I hope with my heart we can celebrate this event together with joy and serenity. I love you more than anything else in the world. Charles. You and the chosen Fuck, one. dude. Dark. Depressing. This is like the most depressing game I've ever played. This is, this is actually worthy of like a movie story. It's so sad. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Alright, well. I gotta stick this shit. Hey, don't put it down. Open sesame. E. Did I get key? <gasps> Lucy's bedroom key! Do I get to save her finally? I'm not going to. I'm gonna get there and she's gonna be dead. Watch. Oh my god! What? Fuck you, dude. What the hell? What? How dare you? Is that me crying? What's happening? No? How did you move everything so fast, you prick of a fucking monster? Holy shit! He's pissed! He destroyed the whole damn house! <laughs> Fuck you, dude! I'm saving my sister! Let's go! Let's go! Please don't be dead! Please don't be dead! This? You in here? I was fighting a monster so we could become best friends again. <laughs> you still dead? Or is she the. I think she's dead. What a depressing story. Please tell me the sister's not dead. The monster Gator? Yep. Aw, oh, man. Monster killed my sister. Cool looking monster, at least. I love its face. It's so weird looking. Uh, it's just, just just a sad ending all around with a sad story. Very cool game, though. Very cool. Ravenous. Damn. What a dark, dark tale. Holy moly. Well, good job, guys. Dude in game? Killed it. With not even that many people working on it. Got 2D animators, character artists. Damn. Very, very cool. Is this Unreal Engine 5, though? Or 4? Either way, what? That was an experience and a half. Damn. <laughs> very, very cool. I always leave the games in the description. Give this one a play. Support these guys. I don't know if they're ever going to work on this more, finish it. 
But either way, they clearly have some talent. So I hope these guys go forward, join other studios, make their own studio. I don't know. Keep making games, guys, because good job. Quite entertaining. Unreal Engine, I knew it. Speed Tree and Esma. Wow, that was pretty awesome. No, thank you guys for making it. Very cool. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more. It really helps out with the Orbiton YouTube algorithm. And of course, thanks for watching. As always, Bobby Wan here, and peace out. Move the master of the dark. White tea legend leaves his mark. In the realm of horror, sin prevails. No fear, he comes the storm in the veil. Yeah.